Hello little bookworms, my name is Jojo and me and my cuddly friends would like to welcome you to The Littlest Book Corner and today is story time. So make yourselves comfortable and make sure you've got your cuddly friend with you because today we're going to be reading a really great book all about dessert. Who loves dessert? I know I do. And so the book today is Alley Cat and the Thursday Dessert Day by Alison Foti Bork. Okay, are you sitting comfortably? Great, let's get started. Alley Cat pounced down the stairs and onto the kitchen chair with a pep in her step and a spring from her tail. It's dessert day at school today. It was Thursday, the second to last day of the school week. Alley Cat had been looking forward to this day her whole life. Well, her whole week. Make sure you eat all of your breakfast, Mum said. You wouldn't want dessert to be your only meal today. Well, that wouldn't be so bad, Alley Cat snickered as she scraped the last scoop of oatmeal out of her bowl. I wonder if the dessert will be ice cream, fudge popsicles. Ooh, all those popsicles with ice cream in the middle, said Alley Cat. I love those, Bugsy announced. Well, it's too bad that your class only gets plain popsicles until you get to be as old as me. They're still yummy, sis, Bugsy said proudly. Don't you think, Mum? Plain popsicles, ice cream popsicles and fudge popsicles are all great desserts, Mum said as she picked up the empty breakfast bowls from the table. What about popcorn popsicles? Bugsy joked. Yuck! Not unless they're covered with extra butter, sprinkles or chocolate, Alley Cat said as she licked her lips. That would be mighty tasty, said Dad. The bus is here, Mum called. Get your backpacks on, love you to the moon and back and have a great dessert day. Alley Cat and Bugsy scrambled out of their chairs and yelled, Love you to the moon and back, Mum and Dad. With their backpacks on and shoes tied, Alley Cat and Bugsy ran out the front door with a hop, skip and leap all the way up the bus steps. Welcome kittens, the bus driver announced. All aboard and take your seats. The kittens were off to school and Alley Cat stared dreamily out of the window, watching the trees and mailboxes flash by as they passed. The faster the bus went, the blurrier the trees became. Alley Cat imagined the trees becoming popsicles as the orange fall leaves dropped to the ground. When it was finally lunchtime, Alley Cat was last to the lunchroom. She had been daydreaming about an orange popsicle with a sweet ice cream centre and missed the bell ringing. Even while she waited in the lunch line, she thought about how cold the popsicle would taste on this hot day and how chewing on the end of the stick would help her wiggly tooth fall out. Next! shrieked the lunch lady. Alley Cat slid her tray down the line, watching as each of her friends grabbed a dessert at the end. There they are, Alley Cat thought excitedly. The popsicles were so cold, ice was falling off their wrappers. I can taste it now, Alley Cat exclaimed. But when she opened the ice box, there were no popsicles left. They're all gone, cried Alley Cat. How can that be? Alley Cat's teacher suggested she could get a popsicle from the younger kitten's ice box. I can't, whined Alley Cat. They're plain. If my popsicle doesn't have ice cream in the middle, I will not eat it. Tears filled Alley Cat's eyes and she hissed with disappointment. I've dreamed of this day my whole life. Well... My whole week, Alley Cat said sadly. I'm sorry, Alley Cat. If you want a popsicle, you must get what's left from the other kitten's side, her teacher explained. Remember, you get what you get and don't throw a fit. I don't want any dessert at all, declared Alley Cat quickly, taking her plate. Tears rolled down her furry cheeks 
as she watched the other kittens finish their lunch and start on dessert. Spotty saw Alley Cat in tears and quickly finished his dessert. Do you want to come play outside on the jungle gym, Alley Cat? Spotty asked. Alley Cat wiped her tears and shouted, I'll race you! Spotty and Alley Cat ran as fast as they could to the playground. You shouldn't be so sad about the dessert, Spotty said. It was the same old dessert we have every Thursday. Nothing exciting. Thanks for trying to make me feel better, Spotty, but those popsicles are really good. Yes, but it wouldn't hurt to have something different every once in a while. The bell rang and the kittens ran inside to start their math class, but Alley Cat was still sad about how she missed dessert day. The day went by and school came to a close. Alley Cat and Bugsy got off the bus and headed inside to greet their mum. How was dessert day? Mum asked excitedly. Great, said Bugsy. I had a blue popsicle and it was so cold. I didn't have any dessert, Alley Cat protested. The lunchroom ran out of ice cream popsicles and I didn't want anything else. Oh, you shouldn't let that stop you from getting another kind of dessert, said Mum. Sometimes change is good. I know, Mum, but it just wasn't fair. Alley Cat moaned as she ran up to her room. All evening she wished for a dessert as delicious as the ice cream popsicles, but knew she didn't have anything at home that came close. I know, Alley Cat shrieked. I can make my own popsicles. Alley Cat ran to her craft set and pulled out ten popsicle sticks and pounced into the kitchen. She popped a bag of popcorn in the microwave and poured it into a large bowl. Next, she took a large plate and filled it with chocolate syrup. Alley Cat dipped the popsicle sticks in the chocolate syrup and then rolled the sticks in the popcorn bowl until she had enough popcorn stuck. Lastly, Alley Cat sprinkled rainbow sprinkles onto the popcorn and voila! Popcorn popsicles! She squealed. Bugsy heard the commotion and ran into the kitchen. Where did you get those popcorn popsicles? He asked. I want one. I made them. I'll make you one too, Alley Cat said excitedly. These are great, sis, Bugsy said as he gobbled up the last bite. You should make a bunch for your class for show and tell tomorrow. That's a great idea, agreed Alley Cat. Everyone will love them. The next day, Alley Cat brought the popcorn popsicles for everyone in her class. They were a big hit. I'm glad you were willing to try something new, said Alley Cat's teacher. These are the best popsicles I've ever tasted said Spotty. I'm so glad we get to have dessert day again today. Me too, said Alley Cat as she ate the last piece of popcorn from her stick. Just then, Alley Cat felt a tiny pinch in her mouth. My tooth! Alley Cat screamed. It fell out! The other class kittens gathered around to see the excitement. I will use my tooth fairy money to buy more popsicle sticks and make more desserts. Alley Cat announced. Great idea, said Spotty. Thanks for bringing a new dessert today. Any time, said Alley Cat. I love dessert day. Trying new things is exciting. And that's the end of the story. But look here. We have the recipe for Alley Cat's popcorn and popsicles. All the ingredients, decorations and directions so you can make your very own popcorn popsicles at home. Well, that's the end of today's story. I hope you enjoyed the story as much as I did. And don't forget to join me again next time for another story time episode here at The Littlest Book Corner. But in the meantime, keep on reading. Goodbye. If your little one loved this book, you can get your very own copy by clicking on the link below. Don't forget to connect with us on social media for story time, giveaways and more. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.